Hi everybody, all my followers, welcome to another video. So this video today is going to be a slightly different video. I don't really usually do this type of things, but um, in the interest of uh, you guys out there looking for tools, um, I get that question asked a lot of times, uh, where I get my tools from, uh, uh, where is the best place to get good quality tools, and all that stuff. Uh, so I decided to do this video. Um, now, uh, very, very recently, uh, you might gonna see a video, or you might, you might will see, or you might see already a video um, that I've done uh, using this tool. And um, I, I bought this tool very recently. Um, and um, this is a, a Mazda a VCM2. And um, you know, guys, I have the Ford uh, VCM2 as well. Uh, you can have this tool compatible with both systems. Uh, when I bought my 4, uh, in order to um, compensate the quality of the tool, um, my Ford was not compatible with the, the Mazda software. So my uh, VCM2 for Ford is only for Ford. And now that I needed one for Mazda, I bought, I bought the one just for Mazda. Now, if you are looking for tools, clone tools and stuff like that, uh, do your research first. Uh, you can have this tool, there's different versions out there, all you need to do is pause this video, go on Google, and just search pictures of the Mazda VCM2, and you're gonna see a lot of tools in there with a single PCB. Um, and uh, some of them with a lot of chips missing, you know, Chinese, they, they, some tools, they try to make them as cheap as possible, so they remove as much components as they can. Uh, I bought this tool as one of the best quality clone tools, okay? Um, so, I hope the seller, where I usually buy my tools from, which I, I told you guys on some of, uh, uh, of my replies on other... Um, on other videos um, I have nothing to do with these websites so I'll might leave the link in the description below if you guys are interested that's where I usually get my tools from and uh, they are quite good uh, they are quite honest they they explain you um, as, as, as a lot of websites out there for that type of website uh, they will show you um, photos of the, the the PCBs on some tools and they will tell you if it's a good quality a better quality quality a B or C as they as they class them in there uh, so I bought a a class uh, quality tool so what I'm gonna do here guys is I'm I'm gonna open this tool uh, to show you the internals I haven't um, I haven't uh, opened it yet uh, it, it did not came with the void seal under the screws, uh, over the screws, so we're gonna open the tool and I'm gonna show you the internals of what uh, good quality uh, VCM2 might look like. Um, I really hope this seller didn't let me down, so I hope this is what I expect to get. So it's gonna crack on. So to open this tool, you need you have these two rubber uh, ends here, uh, you just kind of pry them out, just pry them out, and then they will come out. Uh, it can be quite awkward to take them out though, because they are quite tight. So we might need to start to pull here on the side. And go on, just, ouch. Just bear in mind, just bear with me. Okay. So this side is done out. Okay. So this side you need to take it out, so is if you want to put your uh, wireless uh, dongle. Uh, this one didn't came with a dongle, although I bought the dongles already. Um, um, it, it is compatible with uh, the wireless, so I'm going to try to run this tool uh, wireless in the future. Uh, you need, just curiosity, you need two dongles. Uh, you can't connect this tool straight into your uh, laptop wireless adapter as far as I'm aware. You need to run this with the two uh, similar dongles, one here, one on the on the on the laptop. And the dongle for this is a D-Link uh, DW131 if I'm not mistaken. 
Okay, so this side is done. We're now going to take this side. Sorry, guys, for come off camera, but it's a little bit tricky to pull this out. Okay, the other side is out, and obviously on this side we have the the USB-A, the 12 volts um, power supply, and uh, obviously the the cable, the OBD16 cable. Uh, and now all we need to do is take these four uh, screws. Now, before I take it out completely, I'm going to take the SD card because otherwise it's going to be a little bit tricky to take it off. So this comes with an SD card. It is a uh, comes with a four gigabyte SD card, and I don't know if you can see it. Uh, is a Kingston SD card. So it's not like if it's a cheap SD card, it's a Kingston uh, Class 4. It's gonna this one out, and now to open the tool, all we need to do is split these two red parts, uh, and you have this black rubber thing in between. There we go. And oh yeah. This is what I was expecting. So this is the, as you can see, it's a quite complete PCB. As you can see, there's two PCBs actually. Let's gonna take these out. Carefully, I don't wanna damage anything. So, two PCBs. So this one comes off. You can, let's gonna pull it out. Carefully. And there is. So if you Google, you're gonna see a lot of uh, sellers, a lot of pictures from this tool. There's only one PCB, only this one. And you're gonna see that the PCB this is completely different. Uh, this is a complete PCB. I would say it's very close to the genuine tool. Um, we have the, the the quality board the soldering it looks really good quality uh, neck neck relays it's on the other side we have these uh, Omron chips here uh, what else yeah as you can see there's no blank space for chips everything is is populated here we have we have two banks of memory all completed all populated we have a Halter Cyclone 2 processor here there's another one here but the label is on top I can't really see what brand is I'm not gonna take it off just gonna leave it and uh, and yeah very good what else we have here? Cheap wise, we have LVC. Uh, these capacitors, they are unbranded. Shame on that. They should, be, but as we have here on this small one, we have two capacitors. Z-Link, I don't know if you're going to be able to see a Z-Link chip here. This one here at the bottom. One focus. A Z-Link chip. Um, NXP chips here as well. NXP another one. Then on the opposite side we have a few more chips here. 
Nah, branded dough. So yeah, it looks. Um, we have a Motorola here. So yeah, it looks good quality tool, especially if you have been looking for a tool like this, and you searched already. You've seen pictures of something completely different. Um, so yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, this plug here on some tools is <laughs> just search is absolutely poor quality. This seems to be a, a proper a proper socket here that has been soldered and all covered up. So yeah, very good. I'm quite impressed with this. Uh, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, this here, I don't know if you can see in there, but it's rendered there at the bottom. Vetronics, copyright, blah blah blah. With the PCB numbers and everything. Come on. So as you can see here at the bottom. So, yeah, very good. Oh, there's one thing here I'm not impressed with which is here as you can see these two tabs here they were supposed to be screwed in into the main PCB so when you put this in and out that doesn't you know they are not tied up down so that's a but I think I might put two layer screws on here because there is two lanes running underneath there right at the back and if that starts to move which does move a little bit and starts to scratch the the lanes will my short the lanes so am I gonna get two screws on here so this doesn't move but other than that I'm really happy with the tool just what I was expect just what I I paid for so I paid a little bit more uh, for this tool you can get this tool for Around hundred pounds, maybe. Uh, the, the 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 low quality ones. Uh, this one was a little bit more expensive, but hopefully will uh, last for longer, and we will will have no connection issues or performing issues. And uh, yeah, sometimes it's better to pay a little bit more and uh, have a better tool. So that's it, guys. I'm gonna fix that. Not fix. I'm gonna improve this here, obviously by putting two screws in there screw this down maybe put something underneath these two plates so they don't get in contact with the actually pcb they don't short nothing two layer screws in there with a nut on the opposite side just get this uh done i think it, it worth to do that and uh, but yeah uh, and then i'll put the tool back together uh guys i really hope you enjoyed this video um, I could do this with other tools. Uh, let me know if you would like me to show you the internals of other tools. If you do, I will I will do that on my other tools as well. Why not? Uh, I've opened pretty much all my tools, but I never really recorded them. I uh, just thought about recording this to show you the difference uh, on, on, on a good quality PCB and on a not so good quality PCB. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, uh, you know, put them below. And like always, thank you so much for watching.